say ho, hate to say ho. Stomp them in the nuts, I'ma stomp them in the nuts. Hate to say ho, hate to say ho. Hey, what's good? I want to start off this video by saying that Tim Bradley personifies everything that's great about boxing, the competition of boxing, the sport of boxing. He is a true fighter. He fights all comers. He wants to fight everybody. You know he'll take on anybody. He was talking about going up to middleweight to fight Golovkin. That's insane. But I do believe that he would because he's that type of fighter. That type of fighter that thinks he has something to prove even though he doesn't. That type of fighter that wants to win and wants to prove that he's the best. And he's done that in the last in the last few years, man. He, he he has shown that he's one of one of the best fighters in the last ten years. Yeah, he's beaten some of the best competition out there. The best in his division at one forty and the best in his division at welterweight. Yes, he has. He beat Pacquiao, whether you want to dispute it or not, I don't think he won, but he beat him. Some people think he won. Uh, he beat Marquez. He's the only fighter that has beaten both Pacquiao and Marquez. Oh, besides the money man now, right? <laughs> Who he got confused for in this picture right here <laughs> by the LA Times. So they confused Tim Bradley with or they confuse Mayweather with Tim Bradley because they all look alike, right? <laughs> oh, man, I'm joking. But, hey, that's probably what they thought of a bald black man. Hey, it's Floyd Mayweather. But I want to ask, Bradley's put in the work. He has a great resume. He's a borderline Hall of Famer. He's beating young guns. Top fighters. Why can't he replace Floyd Mayweather with the pound for pound spot? Why does Tim Bradley get no respect in pound for pound lists? Even in some lists, he's not even in the top 10. And I think his track record deserves a spot in the top 10. Just because he's had a few tough fights doesn't mean that he shouldn't be on there. He's won them. He's won those tough fights besides Pacquiao, who was fighter of the decade, by the way. So if that's his only that's the only opponent that has beaten him, why doesn't Tim Bradley get respect? Tim Bradley like I said, he's one of those fighters that are rare nowadays. That they're just willing to brawl. And what's insane about Bradley is that he wasn't blessed with power. So he doesn't have much power, but he wants to knock people out. And he goes out and goes for the knockout. That second Pacquiao foul, like, damn, he really wants to knock him out. But just a shame that he, <laughs> he doesn't have any power. So I'm going to read off a few of his opponents. Since 2007, right? Since he won the title in 2007. I mean, 2008, by the in 2008. Junior Witter, 36 and 1. Edner Cherry, 24 and 5. Kendall Holt, big puncher, rated R. One of the coolest boxing names, I think. Kendall Holt. That was a no contest. Probably headbutt. Lamont Peterson. Luis Carlos Abregu, which he moved up to well to wait to fight him. And then he came back down to fight a unification fight with Devin Alexander. That was supposed to be a what Bradley Bradley described was gonna be a Hagler Hearns type of fight. But after that fight, I was like, man, I don't like Bradley at all. I was like, whatever, Bradley. I don't want to see you fight any longer. Then he goes out and knocks out Joel Casamayor, who was 40 at the time. 
on the Marquez Pacquiao three undercard. Fights and beats Pacquiao. Robbery of the year. Ruslan Provodnikov. This is a fight, like I said in my last video, where Bradley earned my respect. And I hope he earned your respect and the respect of the boxing world. This is a fight that showed me that Bradley is all heart. He's like a machine. Because you could be all heart, but if you're not in good shape... Or in excellent shape like Bradley was. You could have all the heart in the world. But you ain't getting up man. You're not getting up from those freaking hammers. That Ruslan was throwing at Bradley. Bradley got up. Bradley stayed up. With the concussion. With his brain scrambled. He was he stayed up. And now we know how good Ruslan Peronikov is. Especially when you go in and brawl with him. Mark is his best perform performance of his career. Pacquiao. Diego Chavez, who didn't deserve that draw. And now Jesse Vargas, who was an undefeated young gun. Now he's fighting another young gun in Brandon Reels, who had trouble making weight. <laughs> but Tim, Tim Bradley has the resume. I'm not saying that he's TBE, but <laughs> I'm saying he got... One of the deepest resumes in boxing. And he's fighting top 10 guys every single fight. Every single fight. He's fighting top guys. Young guns. Veterans. I think he should get more love. And I think he should be higher on most pound for pound lists. I think he should be in the top 5. I'd have him higher than... I don't know if I've had him higher than Kovalev. But I'd have him higher than Gennady Golovkin. Maybe Guillermo Regan though, because he hasn't been very active lately. Cotto, Canelo, and I don't know. Since Mayweather left, like Gennady Golovkin says, the top spots are vacant, so it's pretty tough. Especially since we're ushering a new era to make a top ten like this. I don't. I I um I shy away from doing that, but. I think Bradley should get more love. And I think that he could be the heir to the pound for pound throne. Not the money throne. Not the pay-per-view king that Floyd Mayweather was. But the pound for pound status. I wish Floyd Mayweather had fought him. Maybe that would have been an ugly fight. But if anyone deserved that fight, it was Tim Bradley. It, it should have been Tim Bradley. He should have got that fight. And I don't know what he has to do to, you know, get get some top spots around. Well, yeah, I know it's a long shot, but if he knocked out Brandon Reels, you know, spectacularly, could Bradley still become a star? Is it too late? Can he still be become pound for pound, pound for pound king? Something that he wants? No, I'm not going to say he deserves it. I think Klitschko is number one. But he's 32 years old, still relatively young in this day and age, but he's been through some tough fights and he has been hit <laughs> very hard in his last few fights. But I don't know. I think he deserves better. And yeah, I just want to ask this. It is... Could he become pound for pound king? What does he have to do? What does he have to do to get some recognition? And what does he have to do to become pound for pound king? And what does he have to do to to become a star in boxing? To become a draw, a big draw. He's been in some good fights. He's been he's fought some of the best fighters in this generation. But what could he do? What could he do after that? Unify the belts? Oh, I would love him to unify the belts, man. I I think that's what he he should unify the belts after beating Brandon Reels. He should go after Kell Brook and then go unify the other titles, man. I don't know all this title schemes and there's so many champions out there. I'm not even sure who's the champ. Mayweather retired. But <laughs> Bradley is what's good with boxing today. He is everything that's good with boxing. Anyway, what do you guys think? Does he still have future potential or is he winding down his career?
All right, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace.